Thank you, Dwayne, for asking me about my art. As you know, we've been talking about the importance of art and the relationship between art and religion, art and lynching, art and all kinds of things that I found really, really uh, fascinating. And so I really appreciate your questions. I think it's important to have art around my house. I've been collecting uh, for a number of years now, uh, but I will say this, Dr. Joyce Jackson, uh, Joyce Marie Jackson in your department has a much bigger collection of art than I do. But I'm sure she would appreciate uh, my sentiment that having art that depicts African-American life and culture in my house is really important. I, I, think, I think one of the things that's really important to me, Dwayne, is when you walk in this house, I want you to get a sense for the, the people who live here and that they have a certain appreciation for African-American life and culture. And when you walk in here, I want everyone to get that, get that sense. And that's partly how this art functions for me. Not only is it beautiful and I love it, but it's also meaningful in that sense that people live here who have an appreciation for their own existence uh, and the culture of the communities uh, that, that they are part of, that they inhabit. Uh, not all of which are African-American. I mean, some of these uh, uh, artworks are from artists who are not African-American, but they're black. Uh, this is a particular uh, is an original piece by uh, Dr. Lisa Kane, who's actually uh, a, a medical school professor and a, a dental school administrator. And this is a work of African-American folk art. And uh, as of the last several years, I've actually been collecting original pieces of art by African-American women folk artists. And of course, folk artists, uh, as you can as you can see, aren't necessarily uh, trained. And I said, as you can see, um, because the, the pictures are much more abstract and these folk artists are are not necessarily formally trained as gifted and creative as they as they are. And so um, I love this piece, uh, by the way, but I also love this this piece by Michael Mabry. And you'll notice uh, that I don't necessarily seek out scenes that are religious. But I think in African-American art, it's just one of the dominant um, uh, themes. And this is an original gallery piece uh, by Mississippi artist. By the way, Dr. Lisa Kane was also from Mississippi. Uh, Marcus Mabry uh, was from Clark's, I think it's called Clarksdale, Mississippi. And uh, this was a gallery piece that I first saw at the Or O'Keefe Gallery in Biloxi, Mississippi. And uh, after I was there and I saw the exhibit, I, I fell in love with uh, some of uh, Mr. Mabry's art and I contacted the artist and they sold me a, a few of these pieces. And so, you know, they just add beauty to space. They add depth to the space. These aren't just walls, um, not just the people live here, but, but on the walls you see products of living, thinking, creative people. And um, I just think having art like this does something really important uh, to these spaces that I hope everyone experiences the beauty and liveliness of it, the, the enchantment of it when they're in my house. And uh, there are a couple other pieces. Uh, uh, this piece uh, by Petrushka. Uh, Petrushka was an LSU student and was one of the first students and her background is uh, Haitian. And Petrushka um, was one of the first doctoral students. There, there was a new doctoral program in the design school. I forget exactly the name of it, but it's related to, to art and design. And she was one of the first students to finish in that new doctoral program. And this is an original piece of, of hers that, um, that hangs. And this is actually, again, we're talking about religion. This is a, a magical symbol called a sigil, uh, that is also, that is used to, to conjure, um, certain outcomes. Uh, and so there's a, there's a relationship between, you know, the sigils um, and in general, between things that one can do um, to affect the material world, right? And so uh, the relationship between art again, uh, or the transcendent um, and the relationship between that and the material are, are common themes that we're gonna, that we're gonna encounter here. Now, this is one of my favorite pieces. And I actually think the, um, the piece is called Girls in Blue. 
It was painted by a Chinese artist by the name of Jamie Zhang, who comes from a family of artists. And I think uh, Jamie told me that she was in New Orleans and had taken pictures of some young African-American girls and, and a little boy and had reproduced those in this particular uh, piece of art, which I just love. Uh, again, I think it's called Girls in Blue. I call it Black Girls. <laughs> That's my name for it. And um, uh, Jamie's spouse uh, is Dr. Uh, Brian Nichols. Um, Brian uh, studies um, Eastern culture and religion, particularly religion in China and Buddhism and those kind of traditions. And when I defended my dissertation, uh, this print was their gift to me. Um, and so that's also part of why I love it. And at the time, it was the only print. The only other version of this would have been Jamie's original. Oh, wow. And so it's a really, really wonderful piece uh, that I love that was just an enormous gift. And uh, I'll always appreciate that. Dun, 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 dun.